Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily make a website in just about 15 minutes. Now, after watching this video, you'll be able to make any kind of website just like this using 100% drag and drop without any coding. So without further ado, let's get started. Now we're going to do this in five easy steps. Step one is to get hosting and a domain for a website, which are the most important things we need in order to be able to make and launch a website. So in short, hosting is what keeps your website alive. There's the place your actual website files will be stored, kind of where the website lives, and will basically keep your website live 24 7 so anyone can access it anywhere at any time and the domain is the name of your website and more importantly it's your website address and it's how people can access your website for example youtube.com it's a domain name so to begin go to the description of this video and click on the first link there now this link will take you here on bluehost uh, which is the hosting provider that we'll use for our website and bluehost is actually the number one recommended host by wordpress uh, which we are actually going to use to make our website today so i think it's safe to say that bluehost is unquestionably one of the best Best options when it comes to hosting your website so let's click on get started and here are the web hosting plans that we can choose from now you can go with the basic one especially if this is your first website and you're not expecting huge loads of traffic but keep in mind that with this one you might not get a free domain at least in the future so this obviously depends on when you watch this video although the good news are that for now you'll still get a free domain even if you go with the basic plan now this tutorial will work the same for you regardless so all of the steps will stay the same the only difference will be that if you go with the basic plan you'll have to pay for the domain as well at the check out, which is quite cheap by the way but I just wanted to let you know. There's also the choice plus plan as well as online store and the pro one and all of these will always come with a free domain plus a lot of other features. Now you guys can obviously select whatever plan fits your needs the most so I'll go with the basic one for this tutorial and when you're ready as well just click select for the plan you want. Next, we have to set up our domain and you can create a new domain or use one that you already own. There's also a third option here at the bottom which is to create your domain later. So in case you can't decide on a name, you can skip this step for now and create your domain later. But if you already know the name for your website, just type it in this box I recommend to go with the .com extension from this list and then click next. Now Bluehost will run a search to see if the domain is available and if it's available you'll see that here at the top but if the domain is not available you'll get a message saying that as well and you can try a different one until you find the domain that is available. In case you tried a few times and you couldn't find anything available don't worry you can actually skip that for now and you can claim your domain later on. Alright next you just have to fill this form with your own details and tick any package extras you don't want However, I kind of recommend keeping the domain privacy on because anyone can look up your domain on who is and basically get your details like your address, phone number, so having this checked will save you from the spammy emails and phone calls and keep your information private. Now the final thing you have to do here is to add your payment information, which I'm going to do in a second. And now just click submit. Alright, now our plan has been successfully selected and we also got a receipt down below. Now the next step is to click on create your account, then choose a password. And these two, the domain name and the password, are going to be the details you're going to use to log into your Bluehost account. So it's not a bad idea to write this down. Now after you retype your password, tick this box and then click on create account. Awesome, now here we got two options which are to either create a website or start migration if you already have one, which is not the case for us, so just click on create your website. Now you might get some of these optional questions which you can skip by clicking on skip this step and this is what I'm actually going to do. Then we have to choose our website type. Now if you can't find yours in these four options you can have a look in the other list right here uh, but don't stress too much about it as this is not that important. Now for me it's business so I will select that then we can skip this question and this one too. Uh, here they provide us with some templates for our website, uh, you can have a look at the free ones if you want but you won't really need it for now as I will show you how to get even better templates for free in this tutorial so I'm gonna skip this as well. Now Bluehost is installing WordPress for us so we don't have to do anything there and we are officially inside our Bluehost account, this is our dashboard and now there's one last thing to do before finishing the first step which is to go to your inbox and look for an email asking you to verify your domain. Then inside that email all you have to do is to just click here where it says verify your email. And now we are officially done with step 1 which was getting hosting and a domain. Bluehost already installed WordPress for us so that's done as well. Now let's move on to step 2 which is to log in into WordPress. Now WordPress is the most popular way to create websites, it's also free and makes it very easy to build a website without needing any coding. Also just to get a quick picture of how widely used WordPress is, around 43% of all websites on the internet are made using WordPress. So back in our Bluehost dashboard Board, click on my sites here on the left side uh, then click on manage site and now click on login into WordPress right here 
Great, we are now inside the WordPress dashboard, which is actually the place from where you can control your website. Now, one thing that I want to mention is that maybe some of you might have been welcomed with some sort of a guide from Bluehost uh, when you clicked on login into WordPress, which should look like this. So maybe you're not inside your WordPress dashboard right now, and instead you are inside this guide. And if that's the case, don't worry, you don't actually have to engage with it if you don't want to, especially because it can seem a bit confusing. So the quickest way to deal with it and get inside your WordPress dashboard is you just find the next button, which is this one right here in the corner up top and just click next for each step until you get on this dashboard all right now back to our dashboard the first thing we can notice is that we got this bluehost kind of an admin panel right here uh, which can be helpful especially if you're planning to have an online store because you can install woocommerce right from this panel and you also have this quick look where you can see the sales you can add products right from here and they even teach you how to do it which is pretty cool now going back to home here in the bluehost panel we can actually have a look to see how our website looks right now by clicking on view site there's also another way to do it aside from from the Bluehost panel which is to hover here where it says your website name sometimes it might say just welcome and here you can click on visit site but I will use the view site from the Bluehost panel as they actually open our website as a new page now your website is probably going to look a bit different but don't worry because in the next step we're actually going to change this anyway so step 3 is to install a new template and to do that we have to go back to our dashboard now because I opened the website from the Bluehost panel I can just close this and here's our dashboard uh, but if you didn't here on our website you can simply hover on your website name again and click on dashboard now hover your mouse on appearance and from here click on themes now to add a new template we just click here where it says add new template and the beauty about WordPress is that you have a lot of free themes for pretty much any type of website. So as you can see here on the popular, you have 384 templates. Uh, then at the latest, you have 11,000, which is awesome and quite obvious that once you learn how to work with WordPress a bit, you'll be able to make any type of website you want. But in this tutorial, we're going to use an even easier way to do that. So what we have to do now is to search for a theme called Astra. So to do that, type Astra in this box. And it's this one right here. Now just click install and then activate. All right, next step is to go to plugins, then click on add new. Now in this box, search for starter templates and install this one made by Brainstorm Force. And once this is installed, click activate. Now this plugin will basically give us access to a lot of very well-made designs, both free and premium, that we can use and customize however we want. But don't worry, as a lot of them are free, and in this tutorial, we will only focus on the free ones. And in order to actually see the designs, select Elementor from here, which is by far the best one out of these three. Now, there might be a chance that some of you have not been redirected automatically on this page, so I wanna show you how to get here from your WordPress dashboard. So to do that, here in your dashboard, go to plugins, and here where it says starter templates, click see library. Now I'm actually gonna select Elementor as I said, and now as you can see, there are a lot of designs here. And this list is not going to end very quickly, so let's get back up top so I can actually show you a way to find one for the type of website you want to make. So in order to make it even easier for you, you can use this search bar to search for a template that is exactly in your niche. So if you want to make a website for a restaurant, for example, you can type here restaurant and you'll get some restaurant templates. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a restaurant. You can do this for whatever type of website you want to make. Now, another good example that I think some of you might relate to is that if you have a local business, you can type here local and you'll get templates for local local businesses so local bakery pet three but this one named local business in particular is a very good one that you can easily make on a website for any local business using it by the way you can preview any template by simply clicking on it so let's do that and now you can see exactly how the design will look like from start to bottom also it doesn't matter if the text here says that this is for a plumbing business or for something else you can easily change all of this to match the business you have which takes me to another point that I want to make here which is that in case you can't find the design for the type of website you want to make using this search bar don't worry about it you can also just pick a design that you like how it looks and transform it into a website for whatever you want so no matter what design you pick the editing process is easy and pretty much the same for all of them now i actually want to get back to the restaurant templates because I want to use this theme for our tutorial. And to add a theme to your website, simply click on it. Uh, here's a preview of it as we've seen before. And now you can add a logo here if you have one. If not, just click skip and continue. Now we can actually choose a different color palette from here, which will be applied to the whole website with just one click, which is awesome because with other templates and website builders, you actually have to change them yourself manually. So this is a very good thing, especially if you don't like the default colors. But I'm gonna get back to them for this tutorial. Uh, then you can also change the font from here, same as with the colors, 
this they give us some font alternatives um, a good one is the Montserrat Lato pair and uh, Rubik uh, but as with the colors I will get back to the default one which is Poppins so feel free to try some of these uh, maybe you'll find something that looks better and if you want to get back to the default you can just click this icon right here now once you're ready click continue and then click on submit and build my website now as you can see our website is being built for us and boom our website is ready and it took only 23 seconds to build which is awesome so just click on view your website and this is how our website currently looks like which is exactly as in the preview we've seen earlier now all the content you see here like the text which is just some placeholder text the buttons even the video behind all this can be easily changed and this is exactly what i'm going to show you and that brings us to step four which is to customize your website so to do that click here where it says edit with elementor and here is the place where we can edit pretty much everything on our website so from here we can edit anything aside the header which is this one and the footer which is this one at the bottom anything in between can be edited from this editor now let's start with the easiest change we can make which is the text so to change any text on your website simply select it like this and now just type the text you want so you can change any text across your entire website exactly the same so we can do the same thing with this one as well and again you can change it to whatever you want now to edit the text on the button simply click on the button uh, then here where it says text just change it to whatever you want you can also use ai but this exceeds the scope of this tutorial so i'm not going to use that for now so that's how you can change the text on the buttons as well uh, now you can also change the color of them by simply going to style right here and from the text color you can change the color of the text by clicking on this icon and select the one you want and you can do the same with the background and select a new one from here as well and as i said you can do this for any text or button across your entire website so any of them will work the same all right the next thing i want to show you is how to change a video if you have one on your team and also how to change images so first to change a video or remove it you simply click on these dots right here then go to style and as you can see this video is actually a youtube video which you can change or delete from here where it says video link so if you want to replace it with your own video, they say here that it should be either a YouTube or a Vimeo link. So first you have to upload your video on one of those platforms and then paste your link here. You can also remove it completely by selecting this link and then just press delete. And if you do that, your website will use an image instead of the video, which you can also change from here. So simply click on choose image and then just upload your image or drag and drop it in this box and then click insert media. And this process works the same with any other image so let's say you want to change this one use the same thing click on it and then click on choose image then upload your image in this box and click insert media all right so this is how you can change videos and images throughout your entire website as well and congratulations because by now you already know how to customize about 80 percent of your entire website because as you can see your entire website is pretty much composed of text buttons images and in some cases videos now i know i said this earlier but i want to say it again this is how it works with any of the teams so regardless of the team you choose this is how it's going to work this is the process to edit any of the templates we saw in step 3 and this is why I said that it doesn't matter which one you choose now to actually save the changes that you made click here where it says update and then to actually preview your website outside of this editor just click here on this icon where it says preview changes and here's your website where you can see all the changes you made now one last thing i want to show you in this editor before we move on to the header and the footer is how to actually add sections to your website so if you want to add a new section to your website the easiest way is to use the same plugin we added our template from uh, in order to get some pre-made sections so we don't actually have to build them ourselves so to do that click on this icon and here you can go on blocks and just choose the section you want to add to your website so maybe you want to add a feature section with some of your biggest clients like the companies uh, you can add this one one for example uh, so to do that just click on it and then click on import block now obviously you have to edit the text and add your own images but that works exactly the same as i showed you before so you can use this feature to add the section that you need for your website in just a few seconds and then customize it the same way we did with the rest of the content it's a very powerful tool and i think it can save you a lot of time now to add a new page entirely not just a small section to a current page go back on this preview tab and hover your mouse here on new and then click on page now just give your page a name and then click on edit to Elementor. And here on your new page you can start building it yourself by simply dragging and dropping elements from this panel on the left side. So you can add a heading or a video for example and then just edit them as before. But this is kind of the hard way and an easier way is to click on this folder icon here in the middle. 
uh, then select pages and here you got a lot of options so maybe you want to add a services section or a projects one or whatever you want to add from these options you can just hover your mouse over it and then click on insert now you can preview any of these pages as well by simply clicking on them uh, so I'm gonna click on this one for example and now we can see how it looks and uh, if you're happy with it and want to add it to your website simply click on insert then click on apply now you can edit any part of this page exactly as before and once you finish your page just click on publish and then you can also preview it by clicking on this icon now one last thing i want to show you in this tutorial is how to edit the header and the footer and also as a bonus i will show you how to add a new page like this one that we just created to your navigation bar right here so to edit these sections of your website just click on customize which is here uh, now if you hover your mouse over these elements right here you can see this blue pen uh, icons appearing and each editable element in your header and your footer will have this icon around so to actually edit an element just click on this pen icon so let's say we want to change the logo uh, we click this pen icon and now we can remove and change the logo by simply clicking on one of these buttons and it works the same for any other elements inside the header and the footer so you can do the same with the button and as I said, this works the same in the footer as well. So the same thing, just click the pen icon right next to the element you want to edit. And uh, then you can simply change the content from here. Now, to save your changes, just click on publish. And now I'll actually show you how to add that page we just created to this uh, navigation menu right here. Uh, so to do that, here on this left side panel, click on menus and uh, then click on main menu. You might also have a second menu, which is usually for the footer, uh, but it depends on the team. And uh, they might even be called differently, but the header menu, which is this one, uh, will usually be the first and the footer will be the second. Now to add that new page you created to the header menu, just click on add items and then select the new page from here. Now, obviously yours will have a name. Mine is this elemental with a hashtag. So of course, you should always give your page a name. And uh, let's click on publish. And as you can see, the new page can now be accessed from our navigation menu. So now one last thing I forgot to mention earlier uh, is that your site will always come with these additional pages so aside your home page you'll always have some pages like about us and other pages depending on what website you're trying to make and you should always edit those as well so to do that just click on the page and uh, of course as before click on edit this with elementor uh, and now uh, this one will work the same as before so you can edit it the same way and with that step 4 is officially done and now we can move on to the final step of this tutorial which is to launch our website all right now once everything is done you can go back to your dashboard and actually launch your website from your bluehost plugin so here in your dashboard click on bluehost which is here at the top and then just click on launch your site and now people can actually access your website when they type your domain name in their browser. So this is how you can easily make a website in just about 15 minutes. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this one.